Hello Nuggets, it's your favorite TT from Divine Me 1111 Spiritual Guidance. I hope you all are doing well. We're going to get into the weekly energies for Taurus. I believe this is your last week of, um, you know, being first as far as getting the messages out. So I decided to go ahead and uh, give you guys some FaceTime, okay? Um, thank you all so much for likes, shares, comments, and subscribes. I'm trying to keep my head kind of angled a certain way because that glare is wearing me out. But I do appreciate you all. Thank you so much um, to book a personal, especially if you want to take advantage of that $10, 30-minute reading. The information is in the description box, and there are also links to Facebook, IG, and Twitter. Okay, Taurus, let's go. Your channel song is it's either Jack the Jackson 5 or Michael Jackson not really sure I didn't feel like looking it up my apologies um, it's got to be there okay so if it's somewhere you supposed to be why are you not there get in gear get in gear Taurus and get where you supposed to be I'm here and get in where you fit in, but this is not this is not really a get in where you fit in kind of energy. I'm getting um, not just a get in where you fit in, but create your own space. Make it yours. Make it unique to you. Okay, Taurus. TT Music Oracles. We have one. Nope, not taking out him. Let's see if we can get three more. Two, three, five. Okay, that's all. I promise. Okay. Um, Diamonds and Pearls by Prince. My First Love by Avant featuring Kiki Wyatt. Oh, there's more than that. Okay. I'm Real by J-Lo. So Anxious by Genuine. Before I Let Go by Frankie Beverly and Mays. And It Ain't Over Until It's Over by Lenny Kravitz. See, I told y'all. Make your own space. Do it yourself. I am not kidding you. I shuffle these cards. Y'all see me shuffle the cards. We have the same exact card on the bottom as I have in the general. Check that out because that could be for you too. Okay, Taurus. Um, and I believe, if I am not mistaken, we um, Lizzo was the channel song, um, Truth Hurts. And I want to say that Lizzo is a Taurus. If I'm wrong, y'all correct me. Okay. But anyway. The song, the, the car that we got underneath in the general is One Wish by Ray J. So, I'm taking it as, as, I, as I took it in the general. Whatever it is that you have been working on, putting energy into, um, trying to manifest, you've done the work. You've put in the energy. My apologies if you hear any outside noises. I apologize for that. Um... But whatever you have been putting your energy, faith, hope, work into, it's going to bear fruit. And the thing is, is you're going to see it soon. You're going to see it within the next seven days. It's those small little things that get you going, that um, give you the inkling to, to keep going and keep pushing just a little bit further, just a little bit more. Because, you know, before I let go and it ain't over till it's over, it's like I'm putting in. I'm in this for the long haul. So if this is you with a relationship, if this is you with um, um, a new position that you have um, been assigned to as far as a job or a promotion, that or if you are starting your own business or, you know, um, even going back to school, whatever it is, keep going. 
keep going because it is it is starting to and it will bear fruit for you Taurus you just have to you know dig your heels in and who better to dig their heels in than a Taurus taking the initiative Taurus Wild Unknown Animal by Kim Kranz is what we've got now. Let's get some messages. Okay. We have the shark. And that speaks to some deep emotions coming up. Some raw emotions uh, coming to the surface. Um... doesn't matter the gender okay because you know that's a that's a great white doesn't matter the gender that is what it that is naturally what it looks like so I'm also getting the um, finding Nemo's Bruce Bruce can't help the way he looks however you know you don't know who he is until you talk to him so Taurus, if this is you, open your mouth and express yourself so somebody knows that you're not just some brooding, emotional Neanderthal. I am so sorry if that is triggering to somebody, but that's what I heard. We have the camel, which is passion and fire and... Um, in 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 some instances the wounded warrior as you know the nine of um the nine of wands of you know having taken action and having to fight and but still having the reserve still having the water the love the passion the compassion to continue moving forward even though it's hot it's dry. I mean, it's a camel. We're, we're camels. Where it's hot and dry and it's heat and it's pressure and, you know, they have to hold on to whatever um, moisture that they have in order to get to the next destination of where there is um, nourishment and water and plant life. Okay? So, this you, you pushing forward. That's good. It may, it, it, it's, it's a lot. For some of you, emotions are a lot. And that's cool. That's what's up. But the thing is, is are you getting down to the core of it? It looks like you are because you're saying it ain't over until it's over. Listen to your, get, get this right here working. Get that right there working. Because it came out in reverse and I flipped it over. Listen to your intuitive nudges. You know what to do. You know what to do. It's listening to it. You done put in the work. All that work of, you know, sowing seed and getting to the place and space where you feel calm cool and collected and not allowing anything to deter you left or right but focus some of you this is um that whole hindsight being 2020 you understanding and getting the awakening and the epiphany that some stuff that you had gone through in your in your past seeing where you've seen it understanding um where you felt those nudges and following those and understanding that dang that was that was divine i thought that was just something i was doing getting the epiphany of the awakening and the awareness within you the divine part within you. 
understanding that that has a lot to do with feelings and emotions and um, the actions that you take. Taurus. Some of y'all are carrying a nervous energy, or somebody around you doesn't have to be you, is carrying a, a nervous energy, um, a, a very high anxiety kind of energy, and what you say or what they say, um, or however you release anxiety or whatever is calming you find a place in space that is calming or you become the place in space that's calming for someone oh my goodness okay Taurus I don't know why all this is coming out as love, but oh wait, yeah I do. I'll fix it. But right now we're just we're just feeling the love and being in alignment, listening to our higher self and understanding who we are, understanding this power that we hold. Usually I can feel when a message resonates, but this for me is not resonating. So I hope you guys are getting something from it. And it, and it doesn't matter the sign because we all have all of the signs somewhere in our chart. And if we don't, it's okay. Because we, we can identify with the house that it represents. Oh, no. That's a lot. Let's see. Nope. Mm -mm. That's like eight cards. I am sure we can. Yep. I knew it. Breaking free. The spirit dancer. Oh my gosh. Can you guys see that? The spirit dancer. Breaking free. Breaking out of um, the dark. Coming up from the depths. And allowing your spirit to be free. Expressing yourself um, from a true, like, free-spirited place. And if this is not you, this is someone in your environment, okay? I thought I heard something flip over, but I guess not. Because there it is. Embodying yourself. Him, this is the himself card. I'm sorry guys if this is a, there's a glare, but himself, you breaking forth into your true authentic self. Had to work hard for it. Digging in your heels and not um, not taking no for an answer. Taking a leap of faith towards your joy, towards your happiness, towards something that is inspiring. Mika Omako is about um, the innocence of... Um, the innocence of um, becoming and being and um, the childlike energy of curiosity and exploration. You are spiritually aware of yourself and your energy and your power and it's now, now you're kind of playing with it and seeing what you can manifest and what comes from it. Cause you, you got the epiphany. This is uh, Tam the Self and uh, Tatan, Tatan the Sith. And this is 
fast, quick movement change out of nowhere. Awareness. Awareness out of nowhere. And underneath her was um, Nalise the Alchemist. That is knowing that you are able to um, energetically change your place and space um, and doing so rather quickly something comes in and you just like you know what yes and as soon as you shift as soon as you communicate, move, open up, change your perspective, or this person energy comes in, things change very quickly. And in, in doing that, you recognize who you are. You come up from the depths. You come up. You've been in, you've been in the, this, this, um, brooding low vibrational energy or so it may appear, okay? But you come up free, spiritually free. The ability to be yourself, knowing that you have what it takes, you've been through the fire. Um, yeah, Shaka Khan through the fire. You've been through it and now you are enlightened, both head and heart. Are enlightened. You got ideas. You've got you. You become inspired to take action because you've gotten the enlightenment, and you're acting on it. You're listening to it. You're kind of taking that energy and allowing yourself to play with it and see what see what comes up. It's like um, you know a child learning to walk and. They get excited and now that they know that they can do this thing or riding a bicycle, however it resonates for you. Um, now that you know that you can do this, it's like, ooh, what can I do now? If it's something that you want, go after it. You can do this. This is a you can do this kind of energy, okay? You can do it. All right, Taurus, let's get your final messages. Final messages for Taurus. All right, so. The messenger of water, which is the... Um, the Knight of, of Cups, and then we have the Magician. You have exactly what it takes to manifest this communication, or this communication um, brings you what you need to realize your manifestations are, are in your own hands. showing up as yourself or are you seeing seeing someone as um, a manifester okay this we got this same car in the very same position in the um, in the general message please check that out this is the the lovers card and this is the good tarot um, by Colette Baron Reed. Okay. So some of you could be um let's see. We'll we'll go with that. We'll we'll do that at the end. But this is making the choice to dig your heels in to stay. I'm hearing um Jodice stay. And it's because you you understand and recognize that you have the power to um, manifest. And it's scary as shit to you. 
we have the two of fire the four of water and the ten of air this scares you or someone else but you taking this action is like oh my gosh I don't know I don't know I don't know just questioning 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 and then throwing yourself into this anxiety but releasing it understanding that you can release it understanding that you have the the power to turn worry betrayal and hurt into something um, that is a blessing turn that and turn that lesson into a blessing okay turning the lesson into a blessing um, it's not going to be easy but the thing is is you know who you are you've decided you have decided to take charge saying what you need to say speaking from a true and honest and um, a place of um, knowing that you have everything that you need took charge so in taking charge why are you worried if it doesn't come out how you want it to you have the ability to change it this is all up to you okay Taurus I'm gonna leave it there I hope that wasn't confusing again let me see let me see give me a second that's what I'm getting taking the action taking the initiative um and this could ver this could be somebody this could be you here taking you know taking the leap of faith um and and you know being the free spirit and communicating taking you know matters into your own hands and this could be the other person you know they a soldier they they've been through gone through and they are who they are and their choice their decision their oneness within themselves inspires you or turns you on or turns you away so much that it's it's awakened you some for some of you it's turned you on so much that it's awakened you to some stuff and you are nervous about it it's giving it's 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 giving you so much anxiety that it's like i don't know how to ground myself yeah you do and this doesn't necessarily have to be another person this could this energy right here could very well represent um, the the job that you wanted it is what it is it is this glorious place that you wanted this leadership position that that you um, wanted to have and getting into that place in space now you're just like oh my god I feel like I am over you know in over my head it ain't over until it's over. Keep fighting. If that's what you wanted, keep going forward for it. Keep fighting for it. You know that you have everything you need. You are the magician. You created the place in space. Now walk in it. All right. I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. All right. So energies you could be dealing with at this time. Um, Aries and Virgo and Gemini. Um, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I love you. I love you from my soul. 
and I send you all blessings and light, Taurus. Take care.